this is Dr. Janet Bruno and today I want to talk a little bit about the detoxification process during your transition from a normal regular your previous diet to a plant-based diet. Now detoxification is a word used frequently in the media in different ways so I just want to clarify what it is. Detoxification is really removing toxic substances from your body and it's actually one of the key elements in the transition phase to a plant-based diet. So you, what this does is it actually paves the way for your body to actually be able to receive the full benefits of eating vegan. And I have to say it's not a totally pleasant experience for some people, not everyone, but some people will have some unpleasantness as they go through this process. And also the detoxification is many in for many people is something they've never experienced before. So with that, let me just go over kind of three very common questions I get about the detoxifying process. First one is how to detoxify. This is actually probably the biggest question in most people's minds. Detoxifying is actually accomplished by the concurrent transition to a plant-based diet with the intake of larger than usual amounts of water. So you're changing your foods and you're adding more water. The combination of the water with the fiber in the plant-based diet actually creates the process of detoxification. Now a second question I get many times is what should I expect? Well, gas, bloating, and diarrhea are actually the most common side effects of detoxification. And it, it won't necessarily happen to everyone or to different degrees to different people, that's for sure. But the reason why it does occur, it, it can be traced to the inability of your colon, the large bowel, to cleanse itself totally of fecal matter. And that's exactly what's happening. And this is really due to the fact that very few people on a non-plant-based diet actually get sufficient fiber and sufficient water to fully clean the system. So when you begin the detoxification process, the increase in water and fiber actually starts releasing all of the old and uh, aggregated material in your colon. And this actually leads to gas and sometimes diarrhea. So the rule of thumb truly is the more toxic material you have accumulated over the years according to what your current and old diet is, the more pronounced the side effects will be. So if you're someone who has a fairly healthy diet, then the detoxification may actually be small. If you're someone who goes to fast food frequently, then the detoxification process will be more pronounced. So really in this case, the individual has the option of either continuing with the detoxification without any modification and just ride out the side effects, or if the side effects are significant, the individual can consider to transition to a purely plant-based diet a little bit more gradually to allow the body to detoxify at a more gradual rate. It's truly a personal preference which works better for you. Now another symptom I will mention is it's, it's just kind of an overall ill health feeling, feeling like you're kind of sick or about to get sick. And this is actually a natural consequence when the toxins in your fat tissues are released into your system. See what happens is the toxic elements you consume utilize your fat deposits as a storage area of sorts. So when you do a rapid detoxification, what happens is a proportionately rapid exodus of these toxins go from your fat cells into your body organs, including your skin. And this can actually result in skin rashes as well as some acne and other disorders. So that's one of the other side effects. Now another big question I want to answer before we end this is how long should I detoxify? Well, actually there's no specific time frame that can be given for a length of detoxification. Again, it depends on the level of toxins that are inside of you, which does reflect upon your previous diet. So it varies tremendously among individuals. There's also the factor of how much water and fiber the individual takes while detoxifying going through the detoxification process. And then lastly, a very important role is the activity of the individual. Since physical activity and exercise truly expedites the detoxifying process. 
So aside from those factors, the process of detoxifying can occur fairly rapidly or in a more sequential, more gradual process. Again, it's different each person. So sometimes the detoxification can initially last for about a week and then the body can actually pause for a little bit and then start releasing toxins again over some time. It's been known to happen that way. Some people actually go, if they had a lot of toxin builds up, they can actually go through a detox, a very gradual detox over even a year or two. But what happens is most pronounced, the detox happens initially over an initial period of time, and then it starts to fade away. So truly, to go through the detoxification process, tenacity is key. The symptoms that I mentioned can actually pose a big challenge to the resolve and determination of a new convert on the plant-based diet. So if you're not quite sure this is what you want to do, and then you have some of these side effects, that might be enough for you to stop. But what I say is that have tenacity, have that commitment. And, and if you have that tenacity and you truly keep your focus on the goal, which is the immense package of health and life enhancing be benefits that are actually awaiting you from a vegan diet. And it also helps a great deal if you keep in mind that detoxification is a necessary component of going vegan. There, there's no way around it. You got to pass through the detox. So, Truly, a shift to a plant-based diet will make a huge positive difference in your life. The obstacles that you may encounter along the way, such as the detox process, are truly a small price to pay compared to the magnitude of benefits that you will receive. So I, I hope this is helpful for you to understand the detoxification process. This is Dr. Janet Bruno wishing you a very happy and healthy day.